Okay, it is time for part five of what's on the rack for New Comic Book Day, the 14th of June 2023. Uh, we are into the penultimate segment this week, and we start with another issue one, Static Team-Up with Anansi. Now, if you've been paying attention, you know how much I love Static. Uh, I remember the creation of the character, I remember the first Static Shock comics coming out. I remember the birth of the Milestone universe, because I'm old. And I haven't always been a fan of what's been done with Static over the years, but this new run, this new era of Static, I have really, really, really enjoyed. And the idea of a character like a Nancy kind of appeals to me. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, then we have the fourth part of Superman Lost. It ain't going well for Superman. I mean, to some degree, we know how this ends because it ends at the beginning. Because, yeah, of course it does. But it's one heck of a tale, which I am thoroughly enjoying. Uh, then we have a huge blast from the past in the shape of Venom, Lethal Protector. As we go back to the days when I really liked Venom. The days when he was trying hard not to be a bad guy, but he just hated Spider-Man so much. Those days were fun. I liked that kind of conflicted Venom. Um, written by David Michelini, art by Farid Karami and Arif Prianto, I'm going to guess is how you pronounce that. I really should find out. I should listen to people say these words out loud sometime. But... Honestly, Venom was one of the best things to come out of Marvel's early 90s comics. And to go back to that version of Venom is just something I am thoroughly enjoying. Something I'm a little bit more conflicted about for reasons I, I won't go into here necessarily. Void Rivals, issue one. Now, this is a heck of a thing. Now, I confess I have not read this yet. It has... A really strong pedigree. It is written by Robert the Walking Dead Kirkman. It is illustrated by Lorenzo Di Felici, who is a long-time collaborator of Kirkman, uh, also featuring colours by yeah, Mateus Lopez. What a team. I mean, what a team. But what it does is it kicks off um, a tied universe which is going to involve the Transformers, it's going to involve G.I. Joe, and a whole bunch of other um, licensed characters. Uh, this is not a spoiler, incidentally, of telling you that it involves the Transformers. That's been announced. But it wasn't announced, and this whole shared universe thing wasn't announced until it was too late to order more copies of Void Rivals. As a result, we are sold out of Void Rivals on pre-orders. Either because people specifically asked for this title, or we have people who want everything Transformers related. And because we didn't know it was Transformers related until it was too late to order more copies, we're out. Uh, and if you look at ordering more, you can't. This thing is, I haven't checked to see whether it's going for silly money on eBay, but I suspect it is. Uh, and part of me likes that because it means the speculators don't get a look in on this. Part of me hates it because it means people who didn't know they wanted it because they didn't know it was Transformers related now know they want it and they can't get it. And that kind of sucks. Uh, but for reasons I'll go into it another time, I will forgive Robert Kirkman almost anything. So I guess he gets away with it. And then finally for this segment, we have Wildcats issue eight. I'm enjoying the way they've integrated the Wildcats into the wider DC continuity. Uh, obviously, they started out as part of the Wildstorm universe, which was folded in to DC when Jim Lee um, started working for them. And there are all kinds of reasons why the Wildcats shouldn't work in the DC universe, but they've made it fit. Uh, and I appreciate that. I really do. So that's it for this segment. Uh, one more segment to come, which will be up shortly. Uh, we will be under the stairs at Destination Venus between 1pm and 5.30pm 
uh, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday this week and pretty much every week and we will be under the stairs at the Everyman Cinema in Harrogate between 11am and 5.30pm on Saturday. We hope to see you then. Until we do, be kind to yourself, be kind to everybody else and above all else, love comics. We will see you very soon. <laughs>